We are at Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar, or should I say Jock Lindsay's Holiday Bar. We're gonna be getting a ton of food, and one of my favorite drinks of all time is actually here for the holiday season. I'm getting rained on out here, so we gotta head inside. <laughs> The decorations inside are so awesome. I love that they decorate this bar. I wish kind of more bars around Disney did something like this. It's just, it's just so fun. It's such a good way to get you in the holiday spirit. Um, but I'm kind of shocked. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon on a Thursday and there were like no tables inside. It was packed in there. So I had to come outside, but no worries. We're gonna come outside and still enjoy that same food and drink. And they still have a couple of decorations out here. They've got the Christmas music pumping as well so it's still gonna be a good time. They just brought out the menu, so let's take a look at them. So they still have the regular menu for drinks and food. You can get anything that they normally have all year round. My favorite thing to get is that Air Pirates cargo loaded pretzel. It's a, like a charcuterie board in a soft hot pretzel. It's so good. But then here we have the special holiday menu. You can see we have some food here, the O ham and cheese trees, the nice, naughty or nice deviled eggs, cranberry barbecue meatballs, some croquets, some pigs in a blanket, some milk and cookies with Coquito. And then here are our holiday beverages. They have a margarita, a mule, eternal snowfall, a holiday cherry cocktail, a martini, and then the hot chocolate grail flight, which is the main reason that I'm here today. The hot chocolate flight here is like my favorite drink of all time at Disney, one of them at least. They're so good. I had it for the first time last year and I was like, I didn't think it was gonna be that good and I was just blown away. In terms of food, I think I'm gonna get a couple of different things. I can tell they're big fans of like puff pastry here. A ton of things on this menu involve puff, pa puff pastry, but I think I'm gonna get the O ham and cheese trees. I think I'm gonna get the cranberry barbecue meatballs Actually, I'm definitely getting them because they have goat cheese. And then I was thinking the pigs in a blanket. You guys know me. You know I love a good, a good little uh, glizzy. So I think those those are a requirement. Everything kind of all came out at once. And uh, let me tell you guys, I am blown away. If everything tastes as good as it looks, we're in for a treat. I cannot wait any longer, guys. Let's dig into this hot chocolate flight. So we have three different flavors here. This one on the side is the spice caramel with Captain Morgan spiced rum. Then in the center here, this is the cookies and cream with white chocolate and Stoli vanilla vodka, my favorite. And then here is the peppermint with Bailey's Irish cream and creme de menthe and white liqueur. Oh. Guys, this all looks so good. Now I love all three. All three are amazing. But my least favorite of the flavors last year was the peppermint one, the minty chocolate one. So let's let's we'll do the build up. I'm gonna save the best for last. It's still so good. Mm. The hot chocolate is just like so fresh with a little kick of the mint. It's such a rich, kind of almost like a thicker hot chocolate. Mm. Like this, this screams holiday to me. I remember the salted caramel being my second favorite flavor last year. I really like they had like a little salty, salty bits on top. So let's try this one now. Mm. That salted caramel one, guys. The salt, the salt does it for me. It's just like the perfect, perfect touch with the hot chocolate and the caramel and the Captain Morgan in there. Mmm, it's so good. And if that's so good, and I haven't even had my favorite one yet. Oh, you guys know. like a liquid Oreo. It's so, it's so good. I, I absolutely love this flight. If you're coming to Disney Springs during the holidays, I come to Jock Lindsay's just to get this flight, honestly. While I can't get enough of that hot chocolate, it's time to dig into some of this food. And how good does all this look? I don't even know what to get into first because I'm just 
blown away, blown away by the presentation of all three of these dishes. They look like seriously gourmet Christmas treats. I'm so impressed. Okay, first, I think I'm gonna have to choose the ham and cheese Christmas trees. I'm gonna put this clip of when they brought them out. The presentation is so fun. They kind of like have a dome over it with smoke and they lift the dome and unveil these beautiful looking Christmas trees. It's so impressive and I can't wait to try one. These are the O ham and cheese trees. They're puff pastry with pit ham, cheddar, garlic herb butter, and sugar plum jam for $15. I do want to go for a dunk in this little cranberry sauce. I think it's like a cranberry mustard that they gave us or cranberry something. Dunk in there. That is so good. I also really love the like herb, uh, I, th I think it's like a herb butter with some Parmesan on there. It's, it's kind of tiny. I don't taste much ham. I'm just getting like a lot of cheese and then the puff pastry, which I'm not mad about. Um, it is it is very, very good. And this little crispy, crunchy fried cheese on the end. I love that. <laughs> While I do really enjoy these ham and cheese trees, I wish the flavors were like a little bit more complex. They charge about $15 for this dish. And while I love the presentation, I, I think they're so adorable. Like, I just wish the flavor was like a little different. I don't know. Um, it just needs a little bit more oomph for me. I don't know how to explain it. Cause it's pretty basic. Like, I feel like I could easily make this at home for like $5 and make like 15 of these. Um, well, they're good and they're super fun, but I would say they're probably not worth it. Hot chocolate break. What is, this is like the palate refresher. Between each dish, I'm gonna have some hot chocolate to refresh my palate. Now, let's go in on these meatballs. These are the cranberry barbecue meatballs. They're all beef meatballs with cranberry barbecue sauce, orange goat cheese, Granny Smith apple, spiced walnuts, orange creams, and crispy basil for $14. There are so many different colors on this dish, and I, I another dish that's just so beautifully presented. Like, all the colors, a little, a little sweetness from all the fruit on this plate with the meat, and the goat cheese. Goat cheese is like my favorite. I love, I love all cheese, but I think like goat cheese, brie cheese, mozzarella. I don't know, I'm naming like every cheese, but I do really, really love goat cheese. So I can't wait to try these. So I wanted to make sure I got a ton of goat cheese on there. I also got a little apple. I feel like that's another like good sweet component to this dish. Let's try it out. The meatballs themselves have a great flavor, but they're very, very hard. Like, I wish they were a little softer, but all the flavors of this dish work together so, so well. The beef with the cranberry, the goat cheese, the apple, it's a fantastic combination of flavors. I just wish the meatballs were a little softer and this would be a 10 out of 10. Right now, I'm at about like an eight out of 10. I just cut this meatball here in half and I feel like you could tell from just how I cut it how tough the meatball itself is. So I'm gonna cut another one for you. Oh, that one was even. <laughs> see, you could kind of tell they're, they're a little tough here. I wanna try another one and see if this one is like a little bit softer. Yeah, same kind of deal. The meatball's just a little too tough for me, but yeah, flavor-wise, great. Love that goat cheese on the bottom, okay? Palette refresher, this time we're going with salted caramel. A little salted caramel hot chocolate palette refresher. It's so good, guys. Now I am ready to try the pigs in a blanket. These are Jock's famous pigs in a blanket. They're sausages with puff pastry and cranberry mustard sauce for $12. I went for a little dunk in the mustard. Let's try it out. That's good. I love the puff pastry with this cranberry mustard here. That was pretty good. This is such a classic holiday appetizer, done so well. I feel like whatever sausages they use, they were like a fancy name. 
They're really good. They have a nice snap. A little bit of, maybe like a little bit of spice to them. Um, but with that cranberry mustard, man, this is a knockout. Really, really good at $12. This is a huge portion. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve little hot dogs. So this is like the perfect appetizer for you to share with a big party. Everyone gets a couple. Um, I'm loving this. Overall, out of the three dishes I tried, I actually think the like pigs in a blanket are my favorite. I really love the flavors of the meatballs. Just the meatball itself wasn't executed well ham and cheese was pretty basic i mean this is basic too but it's the most well executed well-rounded dish on my table right now i also tried the i think they're called like the here we come croquet it's like almost like a turkey croquette i tried them last year i remember them being pretty good and then they also have like those deviled eggs remember but they have mayo in them so i couldn't get them but they're fun they're like the eggs are dyed like red or green so another fun dish i think they do such a good job with all of the presentation here like you can't look at this video and not tell me that you want to eat all this food it's all presented so perfectly i need another palate cleanser going for the mint this time these are just too good guys i'm telling you best thing on my table though just sitting here enjoying the vibes my last sip of the cookies and cream That was perfect. It had all like the little Oreo bits on the bottom. That, that was the best sip, honestly. <laughs> I can't get enough. I wonder if you can get like, although I really like all of them, and if you haven't tried all of them, definitely try and get all of them. But I wonder if you can like double up your hot chocolate. So I wonder if like you can get all cookies and cream or two cookies and cream and one caramel or i wonder if you could just order like one individually i don't know i'm actually gonna ask my server and get that answer for you guys because now i'm curious okay so i got that answer for you guys it was quick um they're not able to change it up so you do have to get all three and you can't order just like one you have to get the flight so that's kind of good because then you get the chance to try them all it's it's super fun it's such a fun flight all the food is so fun the food wasn't like amazing but like it's just so fun that a bar kind of does this for Christmas like I said in the beginning of this video I wish more bars at Disney do this like some bars will get like a specialty drink or a specialty food here and there but this is like a full extra add-on menu like I feel like Nomad could have a really good one I feel like Geyser Point over at Wilderness Lodge even like Three Bridges put a little holiday decor up have like a couple different new foods for the holidays a couple different new drinks i don't know it get people coming in and it get like the locals like me especially super excited to go to these places that i've already been to and it get me in there in the month of November, no december for sure now that we finished all that food there was another thing on the menu i was tempted to get they have like a coquito and cookies situation um it, I'm just one person here, so ordering that would have been quite excessive. I can't really eat much more. Um, but yeah, that sounds really interesting. I, I'm pretty sure I've heard like mixed reviews on it. Some people say it's good, and some people say it's not so good. So let me know in the comments if you've had that before, if you like it or not. I've never actually had that from here, because I always end up getting the hot chocolate flight, so I don't want like the coquito. But I'm interested to try it. Maybe I'll have to come back and get it one time. This will be needed. Well, guys. What a good, good time. This this place really puts me in the holiday spirit. I know for the Christmas party, I wasn't like in the holiday spirit yet. I wasn't ready for it. I was like kind of in denial that it was already Christmas during Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and even Jollywood Nights and Jollywood Nights, we all know, wasn't my favorite. Um, but this, I think coming to Jock Lindsay's has finally put me in the Christmas spirit. I don't know. <laughs> It's so fun here, and if you're coming to Disney Springs in the next month or two, um, I definitely recommend you check this place out. Whether you're getting dinner somewhere else um, and just stop in for a drink, you can do that too. Stop in for a drink, stop in for a little appetizer before your dinner, or just stop in for dinner altogether. I recommend you check it out. Before I head home and out of this rain, I want to thank some Patreon members, Michael, Emily, Mulligan, Lindsay, Ashley, Misty, Paul, Lisa, Barbara, Kara, Angela, Dustin and Nancy, John, Paul, Leah, Tracy, Loco, Armando, the Latham, Thomas family, Adam and Jen, Wayne, Carol, Karis, Marie, Dante, Shelby, Daniela, Marcel, Erica, Linda, Mike, Christina, and Brittany. Thank you guys so much. I've kind of snuck away here into a little cupboard area. I finally found one. 
and yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope everyone has a great thanksgiving i'm actually filming this video a little bit beforehand because i'm gonna be heading home for thanksgiving and i'm very excited to head back home to new jersey so i'll see you guys next time in a little bit later this week bye guys